Hello, today we embark on an exciting journey back in time to explore the sitcom The Thin Blue Line. I'm sure many of you have fond memories of this classic show. The Thin Blue Line is a timeless gem that has left indelible mark on television history. Join us as we relive the magic, revisiting those with the entire cast of then and now. We will explore the names and initial ages of the talented actors on the show and witness their transformation in 2024. So, without further ado, let's dive into the world of The Thin Blue Line. Mark Addy was born in 1964 in the sitcom he plays DC Gary Boyle. In 1996, when he was in the sitcom, he was 32 years old, and now he's 60 years old. Well, I would have thought it were flattering. Of course it is, Boyle. There's nothing builds up a girl's... That if they go back to when Robert was a young, strong, fearsome warrior, they're probably not going to want me, but... Uh, <laughs> Serena Evans was born in 1959. In the sitcom, she plays surgeon Patricia Dawkins. In 1995, when she was in the sitcom, she was 36, and now she's 64. In my bicycle helmet. <laughs> not that it wasn't lovely. <laughs> Most refreshing. Raymond, I'm not in the slightest bit angry. ...to supermarkets and him lying on the floor and screaming if I didn't buy him postman pat spaghetti hoops. It's the equivalent of that. Stephen Marcus was born in 1962. In the sitcom, he plays Terry. In 1995, when he was in the sitcom, he was 33 years old, and now he's 61. Oh, cut my tart! <laughs> there I was trying to get me leg over, and all she's interested in is me pump action. <laughs> Entrapment, that's what this is. Is about, basically, it's set in a prison, and vampires run the prison, and feed on the prisoners. That's basically it. Rowan Atkinson was born in 1955 in the sitcom he plays Inspector Raymond Fowler. In 1995, when he was in the sitcom, he was 40 years old, and now he's 69. You, I fear, Goody, because I have relieved you of the contents of your pocket. In this case, a Mars bar. Because <laughs> for Goody... And he says, this is, this is a left-hand one. Oh, you wanted a right-hand one. Sorry, I'll go. And, goes, and it, it takes forever. Anyway, I was standing around with, with a group of guys and I could... Rudolph Walker was born in 1939. In the sitcom, he plays PC Frank Glassstone. In 1995, when he was in the sitcom, he was 56 and now he's 84. When our next-door neighbor, Cat, gets stranded in a tree, the old woman always put a saucer of milk at the bottom to tempt a dog. Friends of EastEnders, no one told me anything. You Mina Anwar was born in 1969. In the sitcom, she plays WPC Maki Habib. In 1995, when she was in the sitcom, she was 26 and now she's 54. But I was drunk and he didn't take advantage. I mean, how many blokes at the end of an evening would leave you alone like that? Not even try for a kiss? that narrative so that they could bring some of themselves to the play as well and even though it's a period piece there's a sensibility in which James Dreyfuss was born in 1968 in the sitcom he plays PC Kevin Goody in 1995 when he was in the sitcom he was 27 years old and now he's 55 <laughs> somebody's put a helmet on my special book sorry sir I wasn't thinking. <laughs> You're a police officer, Goody. You should be thinking. So I was phased out. And the last uh, recording that I ever did was with Tom Baker. And there was a big picture of the master on... David Hagg was born in 1955. In the sitcom, he plays D.I. Derek Grimm. In 1995, when he was in the sitcom, he was 40 years old. And now he's 68. Drivers, bend the rules if necessary. And watch yourselves. What we had hoped was a simple ding has now been confirmed as a scratch. Dick concept, and I can, in, I can have car chases in it, I can have houses blowing up, and all on stage, I can... Kevin Allen was born in 1959. In the sitcom, he plays DC Robert Cray. In 1995, when he was in the sitcom, he was 36, and now he's 64. Fight that missing credit card. <laughs> You're going to love this. 
<laughs> oh, yes. Oh. Uh, it's not something I cottoned on to too much when I did it for O-Level. Um, it was on the curriculum when I was a kid. Um, but yeah, I, I felt that having, having kind of attacked it... Owen Teal was born in 1961 in the sitcom he plays Gary. In 1995, when he joined the sitcom, he was 34 years old, and now he's 62. Sorry to add with the girl who drinks tequila straight from the bottle. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Right, I'll be off. Oh, are you not coming in for coffee? I've got... To be able to see more clearly, to have compassion for your fellow traveller, as it says in the play, that every... Gabrielle Blunt was born in 1919. In the sitcom, she plays the role of elderly lady. In 1995, when she was in the sitcom, she was 76, and sadly, she passed away on June 10, 2014, at the age of 95. Back a bit, please, come on. <laughs> there you go, son. I can't afford much, but if it's for charity... What? You're students, aren't you? This is a reg week. Walter Sparrow was born in 1927. In the sitcom, he plays the role of elderly man. In 1995, when he was in the sitcom, he was 68, and sadly he passed away on May 31st, 2000, at 73. I've been highly trained. Perhaps I can help. Oh, yeah, all right. You'll do. Looks like you've got lovely biggins under that. <laughs> well, there's no call for that. Stephen Moore was born in 1937. In the sitcom, he plays Ron. In 1995, when he was in the sitcom, he was 58, and sadly he passed away on October 4th, 2019, at the age of 91. About me now, do you? Nobody respects me, nobody cares about me, I'm a nothing. A nobody. Friendless and alone. When we reflect on the incredible journey of the thin blue line that took place between 1995 and 1996, witnessing their growth and transformation, we can see that the connections formed during those years has left a lasting legacy. Their story continues to resonate with fans around the world. And as always, show some love. Hit the like button, subscribe for more, and hit the bell to never miss my new content.